back guys, today's video is all about the wind jammer. Just kidding. So the scuttle can be worn as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. The shoulder straps are going to have anti-slip grip and the crossbody strap is removable and completely adjustable. Now you may have already noticed Lug did not give us a proper front pocket on this bag. There is no zipper where this seam is. But fear not because those of you who don't like your items fighting for space, you're going to like this about this bag. So there is a zipper on the side. I feel like they're starting a new trend here because they have this pocket also on the cartwheel too. This is a bungee for your keys and it is a small pocket about six inches deep and it runs to just past the middle of the bag. Combine that with the space that your cell phone takes up and you've already used about two thirds of the front of that bag's real estate. So now your cell phone and your keys have all the space that they need. There's also a possibility if you don't want to use that pocket for your keys, you know, you've got options. So the cell phone pocket, as always, is completely fleece lined and it's a nice deep pocket that'll fit any size cell phone. It comes with the two stretchy cargo pockets. These are not magnetic, but they are very roomy. This bag does not have a wipeable bottom or the plastic feet. It is semi-structured. It has enough structure for you to be able to stand the bag up on its own, but not so much that it takes away from the curved appearance of the bottom of the bag. So you've got a small built-in office in this bag. It's on the back this time. It's got three card slots. They are spaced out generously so that they don't create bulk. Behind that, you've got a longer pocket. I can fit my sunglasses in there, but it's technically for a passport. There are also two pen holders. Now you won't be able to fit a large wallet in this pocket, the roundabout, the kickflip three, those will not fit. The largest wallet I could fit was the tandem zip and you'll be able to stand it up or lay it down. And here it is with the tram and out of all of the wallets I have, the tram was the easiest fit for this pocket. So even though my card holder is just a couple of millimeters too long for this pocket, you can put a card holder behind those card slots if you don't want to carry a wallet with you. And there it is finally with a passport. So for the inside of the bag, on one side, you will get two stretchy cargo pockets. If you're hoping to put one of your wallets in one of the cargo pockets, here it is again with the tandem zip. Just keep in mind that that's going to be a tight fit. On the opposite wall, there is a large clear view pocket. It does share a zipper, but it is divided down the center, creating two pockets instead of one. So whether the bag is empty or full, like I said, it will be able to stand up on its own. There is enough structure to be able to hold itself up. And here are a few different items you'll be able to fit in this bag. This is a personal preference of mine, but I don't normally like wearing a bag crossbody if it has shoulder straps that can't be detached. So I'm gonna show you this in case it bothers other people. Now these straps don't actually get in the way. I can access all of the outside pockets, even with the shoulder straps there. So that is a plus for me. I hope this video was helpful. Stick around for a second if you wanna see how this bag looks on me. Keep in mind that I am barely five foot three. So here it is with the shoulder straps and the crossbody together. And of course, one of my kids is trying to talk to me. Get back in the house. Thank you for watching. I've got more videos on this bag coming up. So make sure you stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.